Hey YouTube, it has been way too long since I actually made a video, so I thought I would get you to join in getting ready with me today. I'm in a bit of a nude color mood. I get in these things where I just want everything really monochromatic and matching and beautiful, and I remember when Violet started doing that series, I was obsessed with her instantly because that's exactly how I feel about color. You wake up and you want like pink <laughs> everywhere, or like a blue eyeshadow and nude lips, or like something that really plays up one cohesive uh, look. So today we're going nude, that obsessive, beautiful, beigey color. Let's get started. I'm starting off with nothing on my base today. I do have my eyelashes curled and let's see what we can do with this mug, hey? All right, so first I'm gonna take, this is by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm also apparently in a Charlotte Tilbury mood today. Chic to chic, cheek to chic blusher. Swish and Pop Blusher, First Love. I'm taking this on the eyes, and I'm gonna start out on the outer corner here, and just all over the lid. It's kind of peachy, it's kind of pinky. Some people would put this in other mood color stories. See that middle color is like the definition of nude. I'm going to take that same brush. This is just from Still Spa Essentials. It's like really cheap from the drugstore. But it's like really rounded and fluffy. This is not what I use when I want something really defined. But if I want it really easily blended out, this is what I'm going to go for. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here. This is where my mirror is. <laughs> I'm even just going to pinch it. And I'm going to kind of swirl. go a little bit underneath. Keeping kind of with the nude theme, I'm not really feeling like doing my eyebrows today. So we're just gonna brush these puppies up, even though they really need to be groomed. <laughs> but I just wanted to see how much I could grow them out and what I would look like with a full <laughs> bushy brow. A bit of concealer, so I'm not on camera for too long looking like this. Okay, this is the RMS Uncover Up in shade 11. I'm just taking that with an Eco Tools brush and just trying to hide the dark circles under there. And we could even, if we want to be fancy, take it around where you have any redness. I'm just leaving the skin really bare today. I'm gonna to blend that with my fingers. Taking the RMS Unpowder, this is Untinted, little beauty blender. It's dry right now, because we're just patting that in to the powder, like a little puff. And I feel like you kind of need to use a powder puff with this powder because it can be very drying and you really don't want to use too much. Now that that's taken care of, we're looking kind of sort of put together maybe. I'm going to go back in with the blusher and I have this e.l.f. brush, this e.l.f. blush brush and it's kind of like tapered into a point. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury one that is made with, um, I believe, animal hair. I don't think it's a synthetic brush. So this is a synthetic tapered brush. I'm just going to go around the outside and do the whole cheek. Pop in the middle. Just ever so slightly. We don't want anyone to know that we're wearing anything, really. Go in with my favorite natural mascara by Pure Anita. It's very affordable and it's a natural non-toxic mascara. And it kind of replaces my favorite that was Maybelline's Full and Soft. So if you're that kind of girl, you're going to like this one too. It's got like a curved natural bristle brush. Can you see the difference? It's kind of subtle. Okay, so that's the eyelashes on. And now for my favorite part, the lip. That kind of makes this whole look is why I love to do this look. So this was recommended by Hey Claire probably years ago now. Um, it's... It doesn't say Milani. It is Milani number four, all natural lip pencil. It's getting pretty short here. It's not actually a green beauty product. It's just called all natural. <laughs> and there it is. I don't really overline or anything. I just kind of want a base to make this beige not look uh, like it washes me out too much. So I've got Nude Kate, again by Charlotte Tilbury. I told you I'm in a mood. And my little nubbin, I've used this to death. This is her kissing lipstick. It's a bit more moisturizing and it's thicker than most lipstick formulas, which is kind of interesting. Highlighter, I can't believe I almost forgot highlighter. 
Now, if you are not feeling the no foundation, which some days I'm not, I highly recommend the Sappho, the essential line. Um, it's very light, but you can build it up. It's kind of like undetectable makeup, which I have really begun to enjoy. And Or you can always use that RMS concealer and press it all over the face too. I think I have a video showing like I stamp it and I go full out. <laughs> so you can check that out if you like. I'm gonna be using the RMS Living Luminizer. I swear I have other brands, it's just what I'm feeling today. This is maybe my second or third one of this. I'm just going in with a finger. And I'm gonna dab it on, kind of so you can see it. And then I'll blend it in. Again, I don't really want anyone to know why I'm glowing. Just that I am, <laughs> hopefully. So that is the full look today. Posing is always awkward. Super natural, but just enough to make you look put together to go out and face the world. Till next time, thanks for watching.